This game is called Container Ball for grades 3 to 6. You'll need 6 folding mats and foam balls. And thanks to Russ Alvarez and Bruce Bowman for this game idea. So here's the general setup. You'll use the two basketball hoops on the ends and the center line. And you'll have two teams each starting on one of the halves. And on Team B's half will be a container for Team A. You're going to use some folding mats on their edges, standing up on their edges to make this container or this box. And the same thing on Team A's side will be a container for Team B to try and throw the foam balls in. And also on Team B's side will be a jail for Team A. And that'll just be a mat laying flat on the floor. And the same thing on Team A's side will be a jail for Team B, a mat on the floor. And so we're going to look now with the players in here. So we've got the yellow players, that was Team A, and the green players, Team B. They will each start on their half, but they won't stay on their half. Um, the players are safe on their own half, and they can get tagged if they go onto the other team's half, as long as the player has a ball in their hand. And we'll look at that in a bit here. So we'll throw the dodgeballs in play here, and, uh, and the game's on. So basically the idea is to try and throw the foam balls or the dodgeballs into the container and um, you can do that from your own half or it might be easier or it could be easier if you try and go into the other team's half to throw those balls in um, but the players are allowed to try and guard or block the balls from going into the containers so that's something you have to think of in this game so there's some strategy involved now while no one was paying attention the yellow player threw a ball and it went in the container so that's acceptable that's okay and we see now a green player has tried to go across to get a closer shot into that container but was tagged by a yellow player who had a ball so of course when you're on the wrong team's half you have to be careful and so that player will then go into the jail on the yellow team side and the game will of course meanwhile it's continuing on a green player has ran in there got a ball through it in the container and ran back and so of course that's something that's something that can be done and uh, again those yellow players could have been blocking that container or tried to tag that player but he was too quick so we see further the yellow player has gone onto the green team side to get a close shot but it was tagged so where does that player go right into the jail on the green team side and that's kind of how this game works. Again, the yellow player's gotten to a ball, thrown it over, and it's made into the container. So that's another one from their own side, and that's okay. So there's more, uh, a couple more in that, or now there's two in that one, uh, in that one container. Now will see if players in jail, they can, they can be freed by their teammates. So if someone from their own, from their side, throws it over that, and uh, has been caught when you're in the jail then you're going to be free or you can be freed but you have to think of three things so you catch a ball when you're in the jail it has to be caught it can't just be rolled to you or it can't just uh, be a ball on the floor that you pick up you have to catch that ball when you're in the jail and you can step off the mat and you can do one of three things you can try and make it back to your own side without getting tagged or you can try and throw that ball into the container and then try to make it back without getting tagged or you can try to make a basket and the basket's kind of a special rule so we're going to see what happens in this in this case this player is going to choose to try and make the basket so the player's caught that ball and got off the out of the jail without getting tagged has released the ball and has thrown it and it has gone in now if that happens then the green team will get to collect all those balls that were in the container that the yellow threw in there and they become the possession of the green team so that's how that works. And you can also use some cones to make it kind of a buffer area around the jails. So you can't kind of puppy guard the jails. Remember, you can puppy guard the containers. So that's where it gets tricky when players are going back and forth on the other team's halves. And uh, the other thing that can happen in this game is if uh, the teacher chooses, can yell uh, jail break. And if that's yelled out, then anyone in the jails can make that decision, decision to try and uh, get out of jail without uh, getting getting tagged or or I guess you could even make it where they get a free pass if jail break is yelled but that's totally up to you and that's the general idea of this game so you're just trying to get those balls into the container and also try and empty the opponent's containers by getting a basket if uh, if you're able to and thanks again to Russ and Bruce for this game idea